Dollar Tree! I got him! They're trying to run! All the fish really love fruit punch. So pour it into the water. Yes. <gasps> Let's catch them all with Catch Em All Fishing with Zach Ketchum. Hey babies, how you doing? Sorry about that shark. I know you guys want a new friend. Okay, Shemu, I know you're hungry. So, Shemu's hungry. He wants a live feeding. I know you guys do too. I'm going to make a homemade trap out of like uh, some little parts that you can get anywhere. You can like find along the floor if you want. But anyway. We're gonna make a trap for Shamu's food. Let me grab this, oh! I'm gonna put together everything you need so we can catch ourselves a nice little Shamu sandwich. And you can even use this stuff for bait. Catch some big peacocks, largemouth, tarpon, snook, whatever you want. But, let's go ahead and get to fishing. We're at the Dollar Tree! About to get some supplies for our dollar fish trap. Shamu's hungry, let's see. Oh my god, I spotted a wild joy slam! <laughs> Alright, I found a huge herd of bottles. We're gonna get one that's transparent. If we can sneak up on them. Here we go. I got him! They're trying to run! Alright, looks like we're ready to go. You still bread here, man? Yes, I'm four and an anchor. You see, when you ask the locals, you can find what you desire. We found it! R4 snacks and drinks, just as the local said. But where is our bread? <laughs> There's another wild choice, man! <laughs> Elusive creature. <laughs> Alright, we've searched up and down aisle 4 A huge territory. But it looks like the locals let us wrong. And there's no damn bread around here. <laughs> we cannot seem to find the bread, guys. It's definitely not in the kingdom. Is that some bread? <laughs> no. <laughs> Bonnie, don't watch this video. <laughs> Alright guys, so we searched endlessly on aisle 4. We're approaching aisle 3, food and candy, the last of our search. Oh! Oh! There it is! It was a wild joy slime! And it's gone! The mystery of the dollar store Amazon. Alright guys, we were finally able to find our supplies that we needed to catch Shamu's fish. All thanks to the wild and the rare Joey Slam. Animals in the dollar store Amazon are crazy. Here we are, Subway and Scoobies. As you can see, the locals are very distraught, but that's because they don't know how to catch fish. We're here to feed Shamu. Alright, we're approaching a new fishing spot. That one wasn't quite up to par. Is that a curb? Curb dreams. We don't like curves where we're from. We're gonna find some parking and get to fishing. That's why you gotta get the spot. The all spot. Excuse me. Poor little orangutan. Lost his mom. It's a shame to see. But we're here to catch fish, not talk about stupid orangutans. What the? What the? Oh my god, the wild joy slam! He followed us on our car! Get down from there, wild joy slam! <laughs> would you like to join us today on an adventure? I would. It even speaks English! <laughs> We're gonna try to get some fish to feed our awesome Shamu. Alright guys, so there's Shamu food to the left, Shamu food to the right. And look at all these beautiful, beautiful cichlids. Shamu likes the pretty colors, and our sacrifice must be made to the mighty Shamu. Wow. Shamu food for all, and for all Shamu food. Alright guys, so we have our bucket to keep the fish in, our knife, obviously, and only the coolest knives because we do cool things and we're all going to be really cool. So get the shiniest, coolest, sharpest knife you can find. 
fruit punch from whatever this is and white bread only white bread fish don't like wheat bread at all I also found this on the ground so we're probably gonna use this cran apple ocean spray I personally love ocean spray it's really cool extra 12 pound test you can use any rope or any line let's get to cutting so first thing we're gonna do is open this up and get rid of the lid I thought it was gonna blow up on me. we don't need this but you don't want to make waste so make sure you keep all your plastic and junk together all the fish really love fruit punch so pour it into the water They'll all gravitate towards the fruit punch since all of these fish love a picnic. <laughs> Super chum, slick, fruit punch, fruity fruity, pebble punch. Stars and stripes because these fish are patri patriotic. <laughs> and it makes a chum, chum slick quite like your regular blood. So, this is what we're gonna do. That's why you need a cool, sharp knife. I like to cut this open just so the fish are stupid and they don't see it. They'll be like, oh my god, I can see right through this. There must be nothing there. Fish are really dumb, but it's okay. We're not. And that's why we're sacrificing them all to Shamu. We're going to cut a big hole right here. It's very important that you cut it right here on the side. Nice, decent hole. Take a look at the size of this hole. Okay. And that's why you need a sharp knife. Otherwise, you'll look really stupid trying to cut this. No! Trying to cut this thing. Boom. Remember, keep all your plastic and stuff together so you don't litter. So, that's a great size hole because we can keep all the Shamu snacks in there. They'll be really happy. We're going to go ahead and give this a little washout because we don't want our fish to get too scared away by our stars and stripes. Although, as you can see, they're all loving the stars and stripes down here. So let's go ahead and give it a walk. I just splashed water all over my foot. All right, all right, back at it. Make a couple little holes in the bottom. Just little ones though, really not. Just stab the bottom, just so water can escape. If your holes are too big, your fish will escape and you'll be looking really, really dumb. So just a couple holes in the bottom so the water can slide out when you pull up the trap. That's what we're doing right here. Okay, good to go. Done with the knife for now. Put that nice and closed in your pocket because if you put it in the ground, you're probably gonna stab your foot and look dumb yet again. Okay, to the bread situation. We want white bread. No wheat bread. Fish don't like wheat bread. I don't like wheat bread. I'm trying to get nice and fat and chubby, and so are the fish. So, never open the bread with this. Always keep this on and rip a huge hole so you can't reuse this. This is about as much as you need. We're gonna rip it up. Just place it right in there for them to have tons of fun with their little bread friends. Okay, that's plenty of bread for them the bottom of this bottle. They'll jump in there and have a good time and make a fish party, and that's what we want. All these fish to be in here having a fish party. All right guys, so now we have our line. We don't want to lose our trap, so we're gonna tie a ton of knots around this thing. It doesn't really matter what kind of knots you tie, as long as they're nice and knotty, knotty, knotty. Strong knot is a good knot. So I'm just wrapping this around endlessly so I don't lose my little trap. Because if I lose it, I'll look really, really dumb and I'll be on video losing it. And I'll look extra dumb in front of thousands of people like you. So we're tying our little knot. Just box knots on box knots. No special fishing knots. I just tangled my line around my hand. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. We're pretty much good to go. I'll tie one more to make sure he's not going anywhere. And that is not T going anywhere. Remember, all your litter keep together so you can pick it up at the end. Okay guys, so a couple more little crumbs in there to play with. 
That's good for a fish party. We're gonna go ahead and submerge this. You can't just throw it in there because obviously this will flow. So don't be really dumb and throw this in there without something to sink it down. I'm just gonna use the water. Although I'm afraid for my life and I really don't want to go in this direction. My life. Fill this up with water. Yeah. Almost time for that fish party. And that's why we leave the notch up at the end off. Just let that thing sink right to the bottom. And now I'm gonna chum it up. Fish party time, baby. Yo, fierce. Oh yeah. Let me see that. As you can see, these fish are having a super fish party with the chum. And soon they're gonna try to figure out how to get inside this thing to get all the bread that's in there. Because they can see it. Now they just want to get to it. Oh! The big jag just took a bit. You know, he's taking a bite. The big jag might have to sneak in there. I don't know. All these fish now are very puzzled, trying to get into our trap. But they can't seem to figure it out because they're really, really dumb. But you know what else is dumb? This turtle. Because this turtle is really pissing me off. Go away from my trap, Mr. Turtle. Get into the, get into the bucket. Oh, here, here comes one. He's figuring it out. It's right by the edge. Oh. Okay, so now all these fish are going nuts. They're really trying to get in here. They love this bread. I put a little bit higher so everyone could see. We have about 50 million fish interested in our trap. They just have not swam in because they're all really dumb. Yes. <gasps> one is in. One is in our trap, guys. We got one, guys. Don't slam it me, don't slam. Lift it up. Grab the bottle. We got him. <laughs> we got him. Oh God, he got soaked. <laughs> so guys, as you can see, our trap worked flawlessly. Now we just empty out all the excess water. We can see the most beautiful fish ever caught in our homemade fish trap. Wait, hold on a second guys. This is crazy. Dollar store fish trap worked. We got everything together and we are paid off and rewarded with this awesome little fish. The smartest, but not the smartest at the same time. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty, right? Wow. What do you think about a wild joy slam? It's awesome. Awesome. And because you're so pretty, we will sacrifice you to the mighty Shamu. Into the bucket. <laughs> the wild joy slam is an Examining this beautiful fish. Look at the markings on this thing. Incredible. Incredible. Blues everywhere. Wow. All right. We're going to get our fish trap back in the water. See if we can catch some more to sacrifice to the mighty Shamu. We're going to submerge our trap once again. See if we can get some more. Come on. Now they're starting to get pissed. Okay, got one in there already, Joey. Yeah, I saw. Enjoy. Look at him. So the now, that one is gonna flare everyone else up because he's eating in there. And now they're getting pissed. Oh man, but now he can't get out so he's getting pissed. Oh, he escaped. It's all right. There's a lot of those siblings there, dude. Yeah, there's a ton of them. Oh, here we got another entry. There's one inside right now. Let's see if we can get another one to go in there. Double up, come on. Get in there. We got two in there right now. Oh, don't leave. Oh, no! The other one, the red one escaped. We got one in here, though. Wanna help me out, Mr. Joey Slim? Oh, God! I almost uh, ate it. Number two. It's another pretty one. Pretty. Ooh. Dropped on the ground. We got dust. We had the double up, but the other one escaped it. We catch a few more before our sacrifice. All right, guys, we're gonna re-up our trap with some more bread. 
Remember, only the whitest of the bread. Yes. Crumble it up. Squish. Yes, squish it up. Now it's time to submerge our trap once again. Go forth. No. No! But you will soon run out of the bread you so desire. He plucked it out of it! Yeah, he did. No, the one's already inside. One's already panicking inside. Just escaped. Hey! Yeah, yeah we... Are... Catching bait! We got one right now! See if we can get one more so we can get a double up. No, stay in there. Gah. Got him. Got him on. Woo. Ah. Was it some iron? Yeah. Just like you that. Trick? Yeah, right? I haven't seen anybody get them in a bucket in a jug like that, but I see how it works. Well, they call me catch them all. Throw some bread in the jug. It's gonna be a tutorial. So, this is a Mayan cichlid. Yep. These are another cichlid I forget the name of. But we caught them both. Now we have three ready to sacrifice to the almighty Shamu. The almighty Shamu is my pet largemouth bass. About oh, a six okay. pound largemouth. Ah! Yeah. So, these guys are dinner. Our dinner. All right, guys. So we're back at the pond. We got our sacrifices for Shamu, and we've decided to adopt our wild Joey Slam. <laughs> All right. So let's see if he's hungry. Shamu, hello, my love, my little baby Shamu. Ooh, yeah. All right. Let's see if we can get a jump out of him first. All right, Shamu. guys so here we go Got that one. <laughs> the last one. Okay, I don't, drop it right here. Just drop it? Yep. Go ahead. Shamu is a monster. That was crazy. Hey guys, so the other fish is right here. So I'm gonna point Shamu over here. Shamu, Shamu, over here. Yeah, go get him. Shamu, over here, over there, over here. Okay, there he is. I found the other fish that was just thrown out. Go ahead. Just kind of spook him towards Shamu. Shamu, come here. Where is he? It's right here in the shuttle one. Where'd he go? He just turned around. He's your left. There he is. Gotta pop him on the surface. Scoop him. I got him. <laughs> All right, so I grabbed the last one. This is a live fish. Just grabbed, oh no. Okay, here's Shemu.
Get him. Shemu, well, you better get that. What? The mighty Shamu has spared one? Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed this. Shamu, I'm surprised you didn't eat that last one, but it's only a match of time. Thank you to Mr. Joey Slam. <laughs> Our brand new pet. <laughs> and like always guys, Shamu, you wanna say it for me? Catch them all. Catch them all! Catch them all fishing, YouTube, and Instagram. You like this song, right? That light and calm. Mm.